All right, I wanna talk a little bit about energy here. I wanna talk about why I think that some people give off bad energy, some people give off relaxing energy, some people give off a fun energy. There's all types of energies in this world. And here's how I see the whole energy thing. When we use the word soul, all that means is energy. And I think when we are born, there are a lot of different energies in this world. There are your upbringing, there is your upbringing, there is drug addiction energies, there is family problems energies, there's all types of different energies out here that people have. And see, what happens is the main reason that there is these bad energies that people have is because the person that gets these bad energies, the person that somehow attains these bad energies they're not willing to face them. They're not willing to expose them. They're not willing to deal with their own bad energy. And then what they do is they spread this energy. They project this energy onto the world. And they never look in the mirror at themselves and say, how did I get this type of energy how did this energy come into me where did this come from how did this come about and I know I do videos see my type of energy how I see myself and the resonances that I give off I see myself as a laid-back fun mysterious authentic genuine individual and that's the energy that I'm going to bring across to people is because that's what I think see I'm thinking that that's the energy that I'm giving off so that is what people might their energy might be in and of the same but it's not the exact same thing but I know when someone has good vibes, you can just, right when you listen to the tone, now I'm talking louder than what I would talk because I'm next to a highway and I'm outside and the volume is really low. If I talk like this, so if the, you know, the air is clear, it's sunny out here. And you know, if I talk like that, the volume's not really good. But what I'm saying is you can just approach somebody. You can just come up to somebody. And someone like me, this is nothing superstitious. It's nothing that has to do with any spirituality or religious stuff. It has nothing to do with magic. It has nothing to do with any of that. But I can just tell when I come across someone, I can just kind of tell how they are like you don't even have to say a word to people sometimes and you can just you can just sense their energy by their body movements their body language you know just you can just sense it I don't know I can't explain it but a lot of us that you understand but I think a lot of people that have this bad energy they're not willing to they're not willing to face it for themselves. They're not willing to expose it. They're not willing to look back at their own lives and say, I have this bad energy. And they don't even know most of the time that they have it. And then when you have to confront people like that and you have to say something, then you're getting into their bad energy. You're, you're diving into their world. And the only way that I think you can combat that or you can do something about it is saying, look, I have my own things going on too. And I know how it is to 
be this certain way. I know how it is to have this type of energy. And all that you can do is you can tell your story. You can tell where you're at. But you can't change anybody. You can't make somebody know that they have this. It has to be their own decision to make and say, look, this is what I have and this is what is going on with me. It has to be for each individual to make the decision for themselves to say, I have a problem. Now, you might have got this from somebody else. You might have, when you were growing up, someone might have put this bad energy into you. Your friend may have done it. Your coworker may have done it. Someone may have put it into you. But it's your responsibility to get it out of you. It's your responsibility and my responsibility to handle it. And like when I was doing my video yesterday about talking about my health, that type of energy, I have no control over that. That's just things that come of the world and from others and from worldly affairs. I, I can't help what goes on with that. But you see, I'm confronting it and I'm talking about the bad energy. And when I do that, that energy, it dissipates and it leaves me somewhat, not fully, but it leaves me somewhat. And that's why I have to keep doing what I'm doing. I have to keep expressing myself. I got to keep talking about things because things build up. It's just the way it is. There, there's energies in this world that build up over time and they build up. And you have to have tools in your kit to know how to go about doing it for yourself the, every individual is different not every person is the same not everybody deals with these energies in the same type of way and it's just like people that are here and will stick around i know that their energy is kind of aligned with mine it's it's not the same but it's similar you by the tone of my voice and the person i am you can tell that I'm not bullshitting you. You know, you know that you know that I'm an authentic person and I'm actually telling you things that are really happening in my life. I'm not putting on some facade. I'm not playing a game for people here. And see, there are certain types of energy where people, they are like that. They're playing a game. They're putting on a facade. They're, they're doing all these things and that's their energy and there's weeds, here's how I see it. It's weeds and plants. The person that you are, you're the plant, but you have to weed out all of this stuff around you so that the plant can grow or the plant can be the plant. And some people, I am a weed to them and they have to, I, I, they don't want, I, I'm not needed where they're at, you see? They're the plant but I'm a weed to them, so we don't align. It, you know, it's, it's just we're not meant to be or we're not meant to coexist with one another. And there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with being the weed or the plant. I'm just saying. Plants like me will grow and will be and will die off and will do all these things together. Plants will be with other plants. And then the weeds will separate from one another. And then over time, those people that are plants, the weeds will separate from them. You see, it's, it's all based on the energy. It's, it's, it's whatever energy you have. You don't have to be the loudest guy in the room. You don't have to be the person that is screaming or doing something stupid to have a certain type of energy. You can be one of the quietest guys in the world and you can give off some type of vibe or energy that people say, there's something with you that I am attracted to or I just somewhat gravitate towards you as a person because I'm with the energy you're on. And, and you know, I know that I'm not like this big channel or anything and I don't have a big following and all that, but I know that with me, if I do not confront 
my own bad energy like I did the other day, that energy builds up and it builds up and it builds up and it does bad things. And this is why people with this bad energy, most of the time, they don't realize that they're spreading this energy. They don't realize that they're every day, they're giving it to their friends. They're giving it to their family. They're giving it to their coworkers. They're giving it to people in public. And they don't even realize that they're doing this. They have no idea that they're doing this because they're not willing to reflect on themselves. They're not willing to say, look, I'm the problem. They're not willing to say, look, I have a problem here. I have been dealt some bad energy in my life. Now I have to deal with it. See, most people are not going to do that. Most people are not doing that for themselves. And that's why this bad energy, it keeps going and going and going and going and it never stops. It never ceases to exist because nobody is doing anything about it. Nobody is facing shit in their own lives. And, and look, I tell everybody this because this is what I tell myself. I have to tell myself, look, you gotta confront your own things. You have to face yourself. You got to do this yourself. Nobody is gonna do this for you but you. And I know for me, nobody's gonna do this Nobody's gonna get on a video. Nobody's going to expose all my bullshit. Nobody's going to put me out. No one's gonna eat healthy. No one's gonna exercise. No one's going to talk about the things I need to talk about. No one's gonna do this for me but myself. You see, a lot of us, we're looking for others to solve our bad energy. We're looking to the world. We're projecting everything onto the world saying, look, I need help with this, what I'm going through, when it's you that has to confront it. It's you that has to face it. It's you that has to deal with these things. Plain and simple, there's no way around it. And even with me, like some of the physical things that I got and some of the mental things that go on with me. I have to face these things all the time. Nobody's gonna face them for me but me. And I realize when that bad energy comes, I am the only one that can deal with it. I am the only one that can exercise it. I'm the only one that can talk about it. Nobody can uh, expose my bad energy for me. Nobody can take my bad energy away. Nobody can do that. You see what I'm saying? And it all comes down to the individual person and a lot of people just don't want to do it. They don't want to admit that they're the problem. They don't want to admit that the reason that they're having this bad energy, the reason they're feeling bad, the reason they're going through all this shit is because they let it happen to themselves. They put themselves in their own prison. They allow themselves to get out of control. They allow themselves to do what they did to themselves. It has nothing to do with other people. It has to do with every single person that is listening to this or anybody that watches, including myself. So that's how I see it. That's how I see this whole, uh, when people say soul, it's just energy. That's all that it is. And when people say things like, he has the soul, he has soul in him. All that they're saying is this guy has a calm or fun or exciting energy. That's all that they're saying. That's all that they mean. Because that individual, they either dealt with things in their life and they went through a lot of stuff or they know themselves. They have took a look at themselves. They have took an honest look and they're being authentic with themselves. And that's why people go, oh man, you're a soul brother. You got soul, you know, you got that thing with you. No, it's the, the thing is you're being honest with yourself and you're exposing yourself and you're keeping it real with everybody and you're not hiding shit anymore. You're not holding on to stuff anymore. You know, you're not uh, you're not projecting all of your shit onto other people. You're projecting it back onto yourself. And this is something 
this can really help you as an individual but most people don't want to do it because they th there's some kind of fear there there's some kind of paranoia or something that we've been brought up with that tells you not to do that you know it says oh a everything you're looking for is out here in the world everything you're looking for it's with other people it's with places it's with things and it's not it's not out there it's not with things and places and people it's with you it's with you confronting you it's with you dealing with you it's with you exposing your own metaphorical demons it's with you saying i am the bad energy now let me let go of this bad energy so that i can bask in some sort of different energy a fun energy an authentic energy a genuine energy an energy where i'm being myself and not being like other people an energy doing things that i want to do an energy of being honest with myself an energy of eating healthy an energy of exercising when i need to an energy of just putting it all out there no matter what people think and that's the energy that I'm on and that's the energy that over time people are going to they're gonna say okay this is me too this, this is what I want to do with my life also not that you're following me or you want to be exactly like me or you it has nothing to do with any of that you just come to this thing where you go the problem is me the problem is me and the more that I know that I am the problem then that's the more that I can actually maybe do something about it when things come around for me to do and I'm not preaching to y'all I'm not I'm not giving y'all a pep talk here it's I know for me, I get into some really rough spots. I get into some really bad places. I just did the last two days for my mom's husband dying and I told y'all this, but that really got me down. That really hit me in the chest hard. And it, 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 it just, I don't like dealing with death. It's not something that I deal with good and I won't lie. And that energy, that bad energy came into me again and now I'm exercising that. I'm talking about it. I'm exposing it. I'm putting it out there because that's what I got to do for myself. And I know I get a little hype and, and this isn't really, I'm outside, it's really loud so I'm kind of like, you know, yelling a little bit. I don't like talking like this. But yeah, it's, it's all about the energy, man. It's all about your energy. And, and like I said, whatever you think you are, that's the energy that you're going to give off to people. And look, I know it's really hard to understand when you're speaking about bad shit and you're talking about this. It's so that it's so that I can get it off of my chest. It's so that I'm not thinking of it. See, I don't want to give someone else that bad energy. I don't want to transfer that energy into you. I want it to be as though you are listening to yourself speak and you're getting it out of you. You see what I'm saying? I'm not trying to give you my energy when I'm talking about bad stuff or I'm talking about my health, and I'm talking about how bad I feel and all that. And I feel better today, but now that I'm feeling better, I'm going to use that to its advantage. I'm going to do I'm going to do something, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to do something for someone that may need to hear it today. And that's how I roll. That's my energy. You see, that's my energy. That's what I'm thinking and that's what I'm doing. It all has to do with your energy. And most of us, we're not willing to put our energy out. We're still holding on. We're still scared to kind of expose ourselves. We're scared to actually let people know what we're thinking. We're scared to, uh, 
you know, exploit our lives. And there's really nothing wrong with that. If it's something that you have to do, do it. Some people, they don't have to do that though. You know what I'm saying? Some people don't have to do these types of things. I know for me, I have to do a lot of things that I don't want to do, but I know that I have to do it for my health. I have to do it for my mental health. I have to do it for my physical health. I just got to do it. And it's not, it's not that hard. It's just the thought. The thought is making it hard, you see? The energy is making it hard. The energy is holding me back. The energy is not allowing me to be what I really am, and it holds me back. But I know that that is not who I am. I know that is not the person that I want to be, and I know that for myself. But like I said, you can't help it. You can't help that the world is spewing these bad energies at you. You can't help that people are constantly spreading their bad energy at you. You can't help that everything you listen to and watch is spreading this bad energy. You know, when you go to work, they're spreading this bad energy, people. You can't help it. It's everywhere. But people don't want to deal with it. That's why it keeps going, because the person that has it, they won't deal with it. And then they spread it to other people, and that's how it works. And if each one of us would deal with it, if each one of us would confront it like I'm doing, and each one of us would talk about it or get it out of us, then there would be more of this type of energy that I'm talking about. There would be more of an authentic energy. There would be more... Uh, chill energy, fun energy, loosen up energy, let it go energy, move on energy. There would be more of that type of energy if we would learn to just let go and talk about this stuff and move on from it. But not everybody practices that and not everybody exercises that in their life. And then we wonder why we have so many problems. We wonder why our mental state is so messed up. We wonder why we're having all these things because we're holding on to this stuff and we're not getting it out of us. And we just keep holding on and holding on and holding on and we keep projecting and projecting and projecting all of our shit onto the world and other people. And even though that gives it to you, don't give it back to the world. Don't give it back to people. Give it back to yourself first and then you can give it to other people because you have to confront yourself first. You got to look at yourself first. You got to come to terms with your own life first and your own energy. And, and this is what I have to do all the time. This is a daily thing and that's great that it's a daily thing because it gives me something to do. It gives me actually something to look forward to that I do have to do this every day. If it was just a one and done thing, then what would it be? What would it be if I just had all the money in the world right now? Or I was completely and absolutely, I mean, healthy to a T and I had absolutely no problems whatsoever and I just, everything was perfect. Then. You couldn't live life. There would be no life to live. You know what I'm saying? There wouldn't be anything to do here. So it's like, it, 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 I know it's contradicting. I know it's a conundrum. I know it's very hypocritical, but you got to understand there is a beautiful ugliness behind everything in this world. Volcanoes are beautiful, but they're deadly. The universe is beautiful, but it's deadly. Women and men, they can be beautiful. They can be charismatic. They can have all these good traits that you think are good, but behind the mask, behind the beauty, behind all that, there's something evil. There, there can be something evil and sinister. You see what I'm saying? There's something beautiful and there's something ugly behind everything beautiful, even like birds. Birds are beautiful, but they have to eat worms. They have to kill something else to survive. 
You know, it's everything. Humans are beautiful, but yet we do things that we do. <laughs> but yet again, the way that I see it is we are not looking at ourselves enough. We are not reflecting on our own lives enough. We are not taking an honest look at ourselves enough. That's how I see this thing. I think this is why most of the problems in the world go on because we're not willing to take a look at the man and the woman in the mirror. Plain and simple, I think that's why a lot of the shit goes on that goes on and that's why this bad energy keeps spreading and spreading and going around because no one's willing to confront it. No one's willing to expose it so that, that it, it isn't there. And then it keeps going and going and going and going. Like the Energizer Bunny. That bad energy, it just keeps going and going. It keeps beating its drum and beating its drum. And people won't talk about it. People won't expose it. People won't say, look, I'm the problem. I'm the one that created this bad energy. I'm the one that did this to myself. I'm the one that got me here. This is the reason that this is going on. And I don't hear people doing that today. I don't hear people doing that today. All that I hear is everybody blaming the world, blaming their friends, blaming their family, blaming their co-workers, blaming everyone but themselves. That's what I hear. So that's how I see, I mean, I can go on and on about this, but that's how I see energy. And when we say soul, I think soul just equals energy. That's all. And the energy is up to you. The energy is completely up to you. Now, if you have, like I said, besides your health problems and your physical problems and mental things, I understand that we can't help some of that. But if you, you can talk about it, you can put it out there into the air, you can speak about it and you can get it off your chest somehow, you know? And I know that kind of is a different, it's a different topic though when we're talking about that. I'm just talking about these bad energies right now. Because there's always different ways of interpreting what it is that we're talking about. You know, people interpret things differently. People see things differently. But I think that this is all the same. I think these energies have been going for centuries and centuries and nobody has faced them yet. Nobody has put them on front street. Nobody has actually said this is what is going on and I am the problem. We are the problem. We the people are the problem, like I said before. But how many of us are going to say that? No, we're fighting the, uh, we're fighting a cause. We're following the leaders. We're listening to what everyone else is saying. We're projecting everything onto the world instead of looking back at ourselves. Like the song with Michael Jackson. I'm looking at the man in the mirror. I'm asking him, her, to change his, her ways. You see, when he did that song, how many people actually listened and applied that in their life? when he did that song. I think it went over everybody's heads, if you ask me. But anyway, I'm gonna let y'all go. I went on long enough here. So thank you for watching. <sighs> what can I really say? <laughs> do what you gotta do and it's one day at a time. Don't think of too much stuff, you know? it's. Like, like me, the other day, I was, in, I was kind of in a really bad place, but it's over with. You know, it's over with. And letting go and moving on, I know how hard that can seem, but it's really not that hard. It's really not that hard. It's just, are you willing to be brutally honest with yourself? That's the question. Are you willing to be brutally honest with you at the end of the day? That's all that matters. It doesn't matter what they're thinking or what they think or what he or him or you or anybody. It doesn't matter what nobody thinks. It matters 
what are you doing at the end of the day? Are you being authentic with yourself? Are you being honest with yourself? Are you telling your story? Are you actually uh, talking about your energy? You see, that's what matters at the end of the day. So I'll let y'all go. Later.